Hey, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. So if you're a content creator like me, you know that there's nothing more annoying than spending a lot of time designing an awesome thumbnail and then uploading that thumbnail and then realizing, oops, here's the thing anytime you upload a thumbnail to YouTube it has to be less than two megabytes so if you're using canva like me there's a really simple way to change the file size of your thumbnails so if we select share and then go down to the download menu we are going to change this to a PNG and here's what we are going to do we're going to click on this option right over here that says limit file size so the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you're just doing the current page you'll notice before it said all of my pages you can't limit the file size for several different designs it has to only be one specific page so right now this is just this design page 23 and I'm going to limit that file size to less than two megabytes now this is done in kilobytes so it has to be something under 2,000 kilobytes so I'll just say uh, 1975 okay so now I'm going to download this all right, so now I'm going to go back to my video. I'm going to drag my new thumbnail, which was less than two megabytes, and look at that. It is able to upload that really easily. Now, the one thing is, if you have some of these Nuber testing features that allow you to up to upload multiple thumbnails, the one thing you'll have to realize is you do have to manually download each thumbnail individually as opposed to being able to download several thumbnails that is of course if you want to make sure that it's under that two megabyte limit now what happens if you don't have canva so if you don't have canva here's a website that i would recommend using and that's called tiny png and what this will allow you to do is to drop your images in the center of the screen and it's going to automatically convert them to a much smaller file size now one thing to keep in mind is that if you're using the free version, like I'm guessing most of you are, there is a max of five megabytes per each file. So just keep that in mind. But I'm going to take two thumbnails right now. You can see that this is a four megabyte thumbnail, which will now be compressed in just a few moments. And there we go. You can see now that each of these has been compressed from four, a little over four to now around two megabytes so let's download this first image okay so now let me go ahead and drag my newly compressed file here as you can see since it is two megabytes it was actually a little under two megabytes it now is allowing me to upload so it's a great option especially if you are doing some thumbnail tests so it's that simple if you have these larger thumbnails that you want to make smaller don't mess around with the quality or anything like that just follow these steps and you should be all set so thank you so much for watching this video if you have questions leave them in the comment area below if this is content that you would like please feel free to subscribe or if you really like this it would be awesome if you could leave a super thanks thank you again and have a great day